you can barely see it you got to look really hard but where i'm pointing right there you see that yellow sign above the inner harbor of baltimore that's domino sugar company you say brother mike why in the world are you trying to bore me to death brother mike why are you talking about a sugar refinery <laughs> well it's personal okay it goes back to where i now i was born in texas okay i'm a real texan i just want to listen i'm a real texan but i was raised in south florida and i was raised in the middle of sugarcane country i was raised in a little town by the best mom and dad anybody could have with the best sister anybody could have called Clewiston, Florida. And it was surrounded by sugar cane fields. As a matter of fact, the high school football stadium is called, guess what? Cane Field. They literally named it Cane Field. <laughs> and our motto as a town is the nicest people in the world, but our motto didn't come from how nice our people are, how good our food is. It's called, quote, America's sweetest town. Woo! America's sweetest town because we are the largest domestic grower of cane sugar. But that brings me to the point of my message from Baltimore Inner Harbor today. Everybody, all the preachers, all the young whippersnapper preachers, they're all preaching with their ball cap. They're all preaching with their hat on and they, they turn it around backwards so they look all stylish and trendy like a ball player, like a rapper, like a rock and roller. They're trying to look cool. It's all sex appeal and what they look like. But we're not trying to be cool. I mean, let's get rid of this. We're not trying to trend and follow the fashions and the styles of the world. And also, they all have such a sugary, sweet, smooth gospel. If y'all saw my videos last week about the My Pillow gospel, it's like Mike, Mike Lindell, the, the My Pillow gospel. It's so smooth. It's so carnal, it's so casual, it's so convenient, it's so comfortable, it's smooth. All their messages are sweet and easy, like America's sweetest town, like Domino Sugar. <laughs> but look, the gospel is not sweet. It hurts. It hurts to repent and make Jesus the Lord. Sometimes, oh, the Bible says, you know what? You have to give up your sin. How revolutionary. You have to give up your sin. Somebody says, hey, Mike Dial, I'm not going to follow you anymore. Well, I'm sorry about that, but don't let the you know what hit you in the you know what on the way out. You know what? Because I'm not going to change my message. I'm not going to cater my message to please you, to appeal to you. My job as a prophet of God it's not to make the gospel attractive to sinners. It's not to make it all nice and have a nice, sweet, kind, gentle Jesus. No, my job as a preacher, I have one job, and that's to please God, not to please you. I don't follow polls, trends, surveys, public opinion. None of that matters because they're all wrong. The only poll that matters, listen to me, don't scroll. If you value your soul, don't scroll. The only poll that matters is the one that Jesus hung on and he bled and died. So I'm not here with my hat turned backwards, trying to look cool, trying to get views. I'm not here with tattoos all up and down my arm. I'm not here preaching in a t-shirt or a tank top. I'm here preaching truth because the truth shall set you free from Baltimore, from the Inner Harbor. Evangelist Mike Dow, I love you.